What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, today we're playing some more Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, this is episode number 27, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far man, thank you so damn much for your support, and without further ado, let's dive straight back in, let's get this temple powered up, and let's rock and roll. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? In the beginning, when we thought we could be saved, we sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Okay. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. Okay. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. Okay. What the fuck was the point in that? What the fuck is she even talking about? I have no actual idea. Like, it's, it's just weird. I, I don't even know. I just want to find the power sources, but that is probably an effort in itself. Why's that got to be so difficult? Man, come on. Okay, right. Let's get finding them. Let's plug these bitches in. I guess we'll go from there. Oh, my God. All this chick seems to do is fucking talk, man. God damn. I just want to plug them in and go. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. What is going on? I have no idea. Already we could generate fields to protect us in times of strife. Who are these people? But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Okay. So what is the actual point in all this? She's just saying like what happened to something. I don't really know what. Have we got our first power source here. I think we have. Wonder what's inside. Let's go. There's one. There's one There's of these one bitches. Let's go. Okay, are we good. Another one over there. We need to get to. All right, let's get over there. What is a fact? Is it fixed, immutable, certain in its existence, and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command. To control. To own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more. Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. 
What the fuck is this about? In Literally. this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. Okay. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Okay. Well, stop talking so I can power the place up and fucking get through it. Fucking crazy spirit lady. God damn. Okay, so we've got to keep going up this way. I guess the next cutscene I'll get to and uh, we'll see what else she's got to chat shit about. It is literally like every few seconds you move, there is another cutscene to this crazy place. Was to travel back to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. First, we wanted to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking. And instead, began to speak. She called out across Ezio. time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Is it? Look, it's not. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want. But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. What the fuck is going on? They killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, right. More power sources. God damn. Another power source, baby. Let's go. I don't know where the last one is. I think there is only three, so... This should be, obviously, the second. I wonder what stories the temple will tell me today. Let's find out, man. It's another one. Is that the final bit? I think that's the final piece. Let's go. Let's get over there, man. Let's get over there. That's two. I think there's only three, so let's go. Okay, so here we go. More crazy space people shit. What are they doing now? A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. The hell? So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. Jeez. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. 
Not for him. Not for us. Damn. Okay then, crazy space lady, let's carry on. Back again with the crazy space shit. What are we doing now? What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? Can you go away? As Just let me finish the damn game. To hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and it crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced? With something stronger, something better. So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? This shit is just so weird, like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright, is this the last one? Please be the last one, man. I think it might be. Are we ready? This might be it. Okay, it is. It's like a bridge. Is this it? I think it could be. I suppose we're going to find out. Okay, let's get down. Okay, is that it? Is that all? I think it might be. Let's go check it out. You all good? What do we do? I regret not asking you to hack into the. What the fuck do we do? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Okay, we good, buddy. Hello. Hello. Hey. Dude, what the fuck do we do? This is it. We're right behind you. Let's get it. Okay. So I think this is it, man. This is the final part for Assassin's Creed. I know um, we've been waiting to do this for a while. Let's just get here and do it, man. Like, uh, I do apologise for all like, the random weird shit that that spirit bitch was saying, but we are here. What are we doing? Let's end it, man. Let's friggin' end it. Moment of truth. Let's go. Gonna break that. Damn. I think this is it, man. Off we go. Let's roll. Let's end this. Whatever it is we need to end. Okay. Yes. Come. What the fuck? What's happening? Here. At last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch, a spark, a spark to save the world. Wait. My what? Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You. But how? You left. You destroyed the device. Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? 
Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. What That's the fuck? how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries. And so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. The fuck is going on? If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. Jeez. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? Damn. Well, that's not good. She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them. And you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. Oh, it we're gonna die. In an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. Oh, we're gonna die. Made. Then Shit. the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. Damn. So go. 
Go! It's done, man. Is he gonna die? I think he's gonna die. Shit. Oh, no! No. Fuck, man. He just died. In some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked Oh, to it's done. And wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout. That is it for Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Thank you guys so much for your support throughout this series, man. It really means a lot. This has been a crazy series. I'm going to end today's video here, though, guys. Thank you so damn much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you for more Assassin's Creed 3 next time. There is another game I could do as well. Uh, it came with this bundle. It's called Assassin's Creed 3 or Assassin's Creed Liberation. Um, I could also start Black Flag straight away if that's something you guys would like to see. But anyway, for today's video, like I said, I'm going to end it here. Take it easy, guys. Have an amazing day. And I will see you all again in the next video.